Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here and this is a review for the 808 Audio Ear Cans True. You'll receive a pair of True Wireless Earbuds, a semi-rigid clamshell carrying case, a split micro USB charging cable, two additional sets of silicone ear tips and wing stabilizers, a pair of plastic ear hooks, and a quick start guide. The earbuds are compact and lightweight, and as you can see, there's no wire connecting them. They measure about 1 inch long and 1 inch wide. The earbuds come pre-installed with the medium-sized silicone ear tips and stabilizing wings, but the other pairs are different sizes so you can find the right fit for you. The plastic ear hooks are optional if you're having trouble getting them to stay in your ears during physical activity like working out, but I didn't have a problem with these falling out of my ears, and the stabilizers seem to do a decent job keeping them in place. These earbuds don't charge wirelessly in a battery case like many other true wireless headphones. You'll still have to charge them via a micro USB cable, although with the split cable you can charge both at the same time using a single USB port. A full charge will last you about 3 hours of listening time, depending on playback volume. The only odd thing about the design is that the power buttons have opposing orientations. On the left earpiece, the power button is on top, and on the right earpiece, the power button is on the bottom. When you power on the right earpiece and then the left, they'll pair to each other automatically. Then you can pair the right earpiece to your phone, but each earpiece can also be used independently. To place one of the earbuds into pairing mode, hold down the power button for a few extra seconds when powering it on until it beeps. Then let go and it will be in individual pairing mode. In general, the earbuds paired with each other automatically every time, though on a few occasions I have had them disconnect from each other so that the sound is only coming out of one earpiece. Powering them on and off again helped reset and correct the problem. The power button also doubles as play and pause with a single press, and next track with a double press for music playback control. You can also answer and hang up calls with a single press when paired with a mobile phone. However, there's no volume control on the earbuds. The sound from these earbuds is decent. It's mostly balanced, though skews a bit bright, so cymbals can sound harsh and female vocals sometimes carry extra sibilance. The bass and mid bass ranges are clear and present, but without very heavy low bass. Passive noise isolation is also pretty good when you're listening at moderate volumes, but when listening at low volumes and during quiet passages, there was a lot of static and white noise. These earbuds are also sweatproof but don't have an advertised waterproof IPX rating. That said, I have rinsed them off under the tap and they still seem to work fine. Overall, these are a decent sounding pair of true wireless earbuds. They don't have all the bells and whistles like wireless charging or a battery case, so you'll have to find a way to charge them every 3 or so hours. For the convenience of not having to deal with a tangled neck cable, these aren't too bad. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.